Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ori, and welcome back to EU4 and the Africa and Chill campaign, where we are going, playing as Congo, and eventually working our way towards the African Power campaign, but just having a more relaxing, casual campaign along the way. So, first order of business today is, uh, I don't think we're going to worry about trying to get a claim on Chalkway for right now. What I think we are going to do, though, is I think we're going to start improving with uh, Buha and Karagwe. I think that's going to be a more valuable use of our diplomats. Let's get right back into it. Uh, br brief recap for those of you that missed last episode. If you missed last episode, go watch it, trust me. Uh, we annexed all of this. There we go. Ta-da! Recap over. <laughs> All right, we're going to go ahead, like I said, improve relations with Buha and Karagwe in an attempt to uh, kind of help prevent, see if we can uh, prevent a potential coalition from firing. We can get our claim on Kiko Janda. I want to do that. We're going to improve with Luba a little bit more, and I've actually been thinking about it. We are going to keep Nodongo around for a little while, and we're going to feed him Kasenje and Malam, and we're going to take Shinje for ourselves. Partially because it's part of this state. And, uh, yeah. And also, the main reason I want to feed him this is... Partially, it's his state. And I want to save some admin for developing the capital on up. We are going to be annexing Laungo as soon as we possibly can. So, well, basically, that's in, like, three months. Cool. We'll get uh, some free troops there, which is very nice. We have some Teo and Separatists. I believe that is this province. So, guess what we're going to do here? We're going to go boom. I, I'm not dealing with uprisings right now. We don't have the manpower for it. One. Yeah, just, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> now, we should probably improve with Nodongo a little bit more. Since we are going to be annexing Laungo there, we are going to take a 30, uh, minus 30 relation hit with Nodongo. For annexing said subject. There we go. Cores are finishing on up. Lovely stuff. Can we make states yet? No. We need to core ruined. Almost done. Ooh, our air got... Our air is strict? Ah, uh, you know what? 162? Pretty mediocre overall, but strict. And I don't really want to take the uh, prestige hit. Hmm, let's see. What did we f fulfill? High income. Now, I will absolutely take that because one thing I want to do is we're going to go ahead and just build a fort here in the capital so we don't have to worry about, uh, we don't have to worry about having the same thing that happened in the last string of wars happen again. There we go. Rune is part of the, uh, Rune has been, Rune has been cored. I can't think some days. Today apparently is one of those days. I do apologize for that. I'm gonna have some coffee real quick. Hope that helps. Ah, I love me some coffee. All right, five days. We're gonna go ahead and annex, um, Longo. This is 112 Diplo, which I do find. Oh, seven a month? Never. Yeah, we're just gonna run him over. Uh, Diplo rep. What is our Diplo rep? Glorious. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forget uh, fetishist actually gives you diplomatic reputation. We're not going to be staying fetishist. Trust me. It's not worth it at all, but we are going to uh, at least make use of it for the time being. It'll help with annexing subjects. Now here we do have to uh, be aware. Actually, the main we're going to sit tight for a little bit longer and let the AE tick down. And like I said, we're going to improve relations with these guys to at least, like, 70, I want to say. We might even pick up an alliance here. And, the, I mean, Buha would take an alliance already, so I think we will do that. This I think this is going to be another good step towards uh, preventing a possible coalition from firing. We'll take that royal marriage. Ooh, a 135. I will take that. Cannot complain in the slightest. Um, you know, that's fine. Should we continue to improve with Karagwe? Who has more A? Who do we have more AE with? Obviously, we have more aggressive expansion with all these guys, but I really don't care. Hmm, allying Mutapa has some 
rather interesting problems because if Killa attacks, they have a uh, tech lead. I don't really want to ally any of these guys. I don't know. Let's check. Um, what can we do here? Yeah, it's literally just Nodongo's claims on Kasenji, which is fantastic. I will take that. I think we'll wait until we finish annexing Laungo first. We can go ahead and make a state here in Kasai, so we might as well do that. That is going to help our force limit, our income, all the good stuff. And then we can go ahead and throw this land on over to the estates as well. So, I think we will... Hmm... I think we'll give this to the clerk. Well, let's see. Which one's worth more? I know ivory's worth four. What's What are spices worth? Three. Okay, yeah, we'll give this to the clergy. Because I do want to get um, some decent bonuses out of the clergy. We could potentially give some land to the nobles as well. So we'll have to see. We'll have to see. What would this do? 85. You know what? Let's do that. I'm okay with it. Um, oh, we haven't fully cored rune yet. We're going to give that to the merchant guilds, of course. Let's give the... Whatever this... Uh, what's that province? Mapasu? Yeah, we'll give Mapasu to um, the clergy. That's going to be just fine. We'll continue to improve with Garagwe for the time being. I don't know if we're going to pick up an alliance with them or not. It's, it's kind of tempting. We'll see. Oh, excuse me. Let's see here. We need 45 admin to go ahead and fully core uh, runed, which we will absolutely be getting. Now, the question is, do we continue to save for Miltech, which is going to be incredibly expensive at this point, or do we dump it all in here for feudalism? And I'm really kind of leaning towards the all-in for feudalism at this point. Hmm. I mean, I'm pretty sure we finished... Expand Congo. Yeah, we just need to rebuild to force limit. And what is force limit right now? That is 18. So let's go ahead and build two cav. That should be plenty. And we're out of manpower again. Which is going to be a constant hurdle in this campaign. I get the odd feeling. Gold is a sign of the nobility. Uh, st but so stability is nice though. <laughs> so we're not getting the... um. I will go ahead and encourage divination, but we're not getting the uh, dev cost from the burgers anymore. We will get that back once we give them ruined. I love having a strong economy early on. Ooh, a claim on Shinge. Sure. Sure, we'll take a claim on Shinge. I don't want to hire this guy, so we're going to fire him and see if we get a level 1 advisor. Uh, oh, hey, look. Level 1 yearly inflation reduction. Hmm. I think we will go ahead and pick up this alliance with Karagwe. We have too many diplomatic relations, but that's fine because we are about to finish annexing Laungo. Like I said, we're gonna hold we're gonna sit tight until that's done. The castle will be done in three months. Which is going to be incredibly nice. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. As far as uh this advisor goes, I might fire him as well. We do have too many generals, which is kind of an issue. Oh, we have an admiral. I forgot. That was my bad. Totally my bad. We burned a bunch of dip, a bunch, bunch of military points unnecessarily there. Let's go ahead and improve relations with both of these guys for the time being. Get them up to 150 uh, ish. I think 150 ish should be about right. Let's go ahead and core rune. Now we can give it to the burgers or the merchants. There we go. Do we get them back above 60? Fantastic. Are we at force limit? We are one shy of force limit. How many months until this is done? July. Okay, that's not bad. Couple more months and we'll have um, Laungo integrated. We're going to instantly mothball the fortress. And we're going to go ahead and hire the inflation reduction guy. Even though we don't really have any inflation. I don't want to lose base tax in Ma Mabata, but sure. Where is Mabata? Oh, so this has, uh... Okay, whatever, fine. Fine. <laughs> there we go. Integrating Longo. We should be at force limit now. In fact, we're over force limit. We'll see, though. Let's uh, go ahead and pick both of these up. It is going to cost slightly more to uh, dev this now, just because of the overall development, but I think that's fine. 
There we go. 69.8% of the way to feudalism. Cannot complain about that. Let's see. Unrest here is pretty low. We could actually lower its autonomy. Nah, I don't think we will. Let's go ahead and group up this fleet. Uh, I guess we'll have both ships. We'll have all of our ships protect trade in the uh, Ivory Coast. Actually, we'll unmothball this fleet, run it down here. I was going to see if we could... Actually, I should have sold some uh, ships to the old uh, subject before he was unable to uh, buy them anymore. That was a really weird way of saying that. There's some Diplo rep. We will get... Oh, we could have actually gotten acquired subjects. Oh, well. Oh, well. Bit of a misplay on my part. It's fine, though. So we are actually over force limit. I am tempted to give some of this land away, though. Like, I kind of want to give this to the nobles. That should actually give us a uh, proper force limit. Well, either way, I am going to actually just go ahead and disband one troop so we're not burning more money than is necessary. Let's go ahead and mothball that cog. All right, and we have an 18 stack. That's very uh, satisfying. That's very handy. So we don't have much manpower. We'll give it a little bit more time on that. We'll probably wait until the end of the year, I would say, on that. So we have all of our advisors hired, which is quite nice. That extra morale is going to be nice, too. Gives us, like, three morale compared to uh, most other nations around us. We probably should look to just go ahead and start this war, though. Truce with Kiko Janda has ended. Let's look at our AE a little bit. We do have some good allies over here, and I think, you know what, let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. No guts, no glory. Uh, we are going to split the stacks so we can deal with both Kuba and um, Kasenje in very short order. That will avoid some attrition, which will be quite nice. Now, we are going to be putting our uh, monarch in charge of uh, this stack. Which is a little risky, not gonna lie, but at the same time, I think we'll be okay. I don't like sending this stack in without a leader is the main thing. And we don't have feudalism, so we can't have two generals yet. We definitely won't be developing Mpemba much more once we get feudalism. We'll let it spread a little bit, and then we may develop one of these other provinces. Because I just don't think it's going to be worth uh, dev bombing Mapemba all the way up into the sun. Even if it is a pretty solid province. We're just going to go ahead and declare this war. We can call Luba in on favors, so we might as well, actually. He's got an 8 stack. We do have favors with Luba, so we might as well use them. Now, let's see. What could we do here? We could actually get to war with Kazembe, but I don't really care. Kalundwe... Yeah, I guess we'll just have to deal with Kalundwe later. We will annex uh, quite a bit of land here, though. Let's just go ahead and do it. We'll call Luba in on favors. We'll make the war goal... We'll just make it Kasenje. And we'll just go annihilate that force. We'll go annihilate this Luba one stack. Get some free war score. Good stuff. So, Luba, Miltech 2 gonna be just fine oh we're not actually gonna catch him there that is uh unfortunate you're going to nadongo we're gonna catch you in nadongo then goodbye and it's in highland so that should be a stack wipe oh that wasn't a stack wipe this is though that's fine let's go ahead and just start sieging uh luba down or kuba down excuse me we'll get them out of the war quickly and then we'll head on over to uh kiko janda what happened to luba's army oh it's right there cool that's fine oh of course i knew i knew that was gonna happen uh we don't have enough admin to boost staff boo court well we're gonna obviously go for the discipline <sighs> well it seemed like a good idea at the time we still have ab we still get absolutely crap for admin though, which sucks. When can we switch our focus out? Nine years? Eh, whatever. Even without a uh, leader, I think this stack is not going to be bothered. Basically, is a good way of looking at it. And we do have a fortress in Mapemba, so it is going to uh, slow down anyone trying to get uh, 
get our capital. Yeah. See, like I said, we're, we're some days I struggle with words. Today apparently is one of those days. We need to reinforce this. Damn it, we lost that siege. Oh well. And we got the stack wipe though. I'll take it. Uh, let's see here. We will just let the autonomy in Laungo go up a little more. Because once the uh, unrest is gone, we will just go ahead and deal with that. We'll leave this stack here. We're out of manpower, of course. Let's see. Revolts and Ruined in Yaka. That actually might be handy to have Kuba's help with. We don't have the professionalism right now for... Um, Hmm. We don't. Yeah, we don't have the professionalism to roll for, or to slack in to get some manpower back. But what we do have, well, you know what? Let's just sit on this for right now. These two sieges aren't going to take very long by any means. And then we can get um, Luba's help with these rebels. We will go ahead and shift consolidate these two, or properly consolidate these two armies down. That will just kind of help speed manpower recovery back up. Let's go ahead and get back up to plus one stab, or zero stab, I should say. I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, so Nadongo, uh, okay, we can recall the diplomat there. Let's get a spy network going here to speed this siege up. Let's go ahead and pull the diplomat back from Kasenje, or not Kasenje. What was that? Karagwe, there we go. Pull that back from Karagwe. We should get the, uh, siege back. We might as well just spy on Luba for the extra siege bonus at this point. There's no reason not to. Oh, I can't reinforce that. Oh, oh dear, Luba. You might be... Yeah, you got stomped. Oh. Luba got hard, got wrecked hard. Well, these this war is going to be over pretty quick overall, I would say. Because once we... Yeah, okay. We can piece Kuba out now, which I'm fine with. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to grab two provinces from him. Well, do we even do that? I mean, technically, they are in a state. I'd rather grab... Yeah, okay, let's just grab one for now. Well, actually, if we do it this way, we'll just attack him on... Uh, we'll just attack him as soon as the truce comes up, so that's fine. 35 ducats, you can give me war reps. That'll give us some time to get our uh, country back in order a little bit, because we have a lot of rebels suddenly. <laughs> and now we don't have any admin to uh, core that up, but that's fine. Okay, Kasenje has fallen. Let's head over here. Let's gather the army up to deal with these rebels, first of all. Shut up, Kasenje. Now, we are going to just straight up feed this to Nodongo. Nodongo has a nice color. I just realized that. They have a very nice color on the map. We're going to go ahead and properly consolidate again because we are just really lacking manpower right now. Let's see. Are the nobles happy? Oh, the nobles are happy. Yay, we can get manpower. I kind of want to get this contribution too, but I do want to hold on to the dev cost. Yeah. Nah. Let's just grab it. That's fine. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and just deal with this. We'll shift consolidate the army. There we go. Some separatists are already dead. Let's head here to Mapasu to get um defensive terrain bonus. And we are gonna just wreck these rebels. We'll go ahead and properly consolidate again. Yeah, we'll have Luba and uh, Nodongo make, go do those sieges so we don't have to deal with that. We'll just deal with the occupations right now. War exhaustion is uh, not doing great, I would say. It's all good, though. I might give uh, Upemba to Luba, honestly. Because it wouldn't be too bad to use them again in a war. We're about to be able to take our first government reform, which is pretty nice, honestly. I'm quite excited for it. We are going to need to retrain a bunch of troops after this war, but you know what? It's okay. Ooh, Nadongo even got the siege there. Nice. Good stuff. I may just annex this. We'll see how much uh, aggressive expansion that causes. The slave trade to mercantilism. Okay. Sure. 
So they're actually going to Songo. Let's go ahead and just crush Kiko Janda's forces. There we go. Stack wipe. And we lost our great general. Lovely. We'll get a little uh, goods produced modifier. Or a little goods produced debuff, I think. That's going to be just fine. Okay, cool. War is over. And we need a new general. So, yeah. Wow, we got... We're getting good luck on the estate generals. So I think we're in a pretty good spot overall right now. We definitely don't need... Oh, wait. We can get a claim here. That was uh, good timing, I suppose, is a uh, good way of putting that. We might as well start spying on Chakwe. I think we can start uh, spying on Kalundwe as well to get a claim here on uh, Songi or Songai. I don't know. Oh, excuse me. I tried. So we'll improve more with Luba. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We need a uh, royal marriage with Luba. Let's pick that up. Okay, royal marriages are good with the rest of our allies. Yeah, I think we're in a really good spot in this campaign overall. Our manpower is going to come back ever so slowly. Nadongo is about to finish this siege one of these days. But the nice thing about this is it will actually um, allow our AE to tick down a bit further even. Expiring CB. Couple more months and we'll have our government reform. Let's see. 10 Diplo power. I don't care about Kalundwe's opinion of me. I'll take 30 Diplo power. Thank you, game. Okay, there we go. Siege is done. Fantastic. Now, Kiko Janda. If we annex that. Kuba, Kalundwe, Kasenje, Kazembe. Um, you know what? I think we are just going to straight up annex that. You know what, though? No, I'm going to give this to Luba. That's fine. We'll give this to Luba. We'll split Luba between, or uh, Kasenje between ourselves and Luba. Uh, yeah, I think that's fine. There we go. Feeding our ally a little bit. Something we very rarely do. <laughs> oh, Rwanda got the uh, colony event. I know there's an event. There's an event you can get a colony there. Wow, that's cool. That's actually a really cool modifier. So I'm taking this. All of this is going away. Yeah. So th this is totally fine. We're completely fine at this point. All right, cool. And we don't have to core at least two of these provinces, which is always nice. And the war is over. Spectacular. I love it. Let's see. Yep, we are feeding Nadongo a little bit. We are in a fantastic spot overall, I would say. I think it's time we go ahead and get a claim here on Kisenje. Yeah, this is the way I should have done it last time I tried to do this campaign. I just went way too aggressive. Annexed, like, all of this. Fought a coalition war. Almost won, and then died. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and mothball the fortress here. We don't really need it up anymore. Wait, excuse me. 33 ducats a month? No. I was like, what? We're going to get the 20% manpower modifier. Eh, no. We're getting the 20% manpower modifier. That's just too strong. That's just way too strong. Uh, we'll take a prestige hit. I'm not dealing with the, uh, un the, uh, yeah. You know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do some more development for feudalism. There we go. We have feudalism. Royal marriage with Nadongo. We did need that, so let's go ahead and grab that. And, uh, we're just gonna let the old, uh, we're gonna let our war exhaustion tick down a bit more. We are in a very dominant position. Feudalism is starting to spread. Let's actually get a quick check on uh, that. 187 ducats. You know, that's not awful. That is not awful at... That's not terrible at all, actually. Yeah, so we'll take... Uh, we might actually take a couple of loans for that. Nah, I don't think we will. We'll have to see. But on that note, we are going to go ahead and wrap things up for today. So as always, I would like to thank you for tuning in and spending a little part of your day here. It is greatly appreciated. If you're enjoying the series, please do remember to drop a like down below as it really does help the channel and subscribe for more grand strategy content in the future. 
If you would like to help support the channel monetarily, it is very, very much appreciated. Please do take a moment to check out the Patreon. Link is down in the description. And if you would like to join a growing community over on Discord, there is also a link to that down below. As always, my name is Ori. I do hope you have a fantastic day, and we will catch you in the next one.